Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, before we get started on this latest episode of Journey of a Natural Bodybuilder, Scrawny to Stage, um, I want to let you know that this is going to be split up into a two-part um, episode, I guess, if you want to say. So, um, be on the lookout for to finish off this episode with the uh, following one that's uploaded up on YouTube. So, thanks again for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoy and get something out of this. Hey guys, welcome to part seven of Journey of a Natural Bodybuilder, um, Scrawny to Stage. I'm actually sitting down here in the morning right now. It is Friday the 13th. Ooh, scary day. I'm um, sitting down here at the dog park for a little bit with my boy Kobe. Um, just trying to get him some fun and activity. It's a beautiful morning. Wow, the weather down here in Florida is you know, starting to cool off a little bit. No humidity. It just feels wonderful out right now. And the sun's starting to come up. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it from the distance over there. but. Um, so basically what's happened so far today is we woke up normal time about 4 15 a.m. and we went for our uh, mile and a half two mile walk came back had some breakfast laid back down for a few minutes kind of let's let, let uh, breakfast settle and just kind of getting going with the day I'm gonna go hit the gym here pretty soon and I think it's going well I don't think I know it's going to be a, uh, a bench you know chest push day and um, just really go try to make this a great day ahead. Got some things to work on afterwards, a busy day ahead, but try to get you some clips from uh, chest day and see how that goes. But I just wanna wish everyone a great day. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and might get something out of it to help your training, your nutrition, and your day ahead. I will talk to you soon. Oh, another quick point. So on Fridays, I usually do my weigh-in and everything. And I actually noticed that even with the large amount of food I eat and everything, I've actually went down a pound since last week, which is not the goal. Um, and that just kind of shows that your body fluctuates, your body is not static, it's very dynamic, it changes throughout. So um, that's why I suggest just doing a weigh-in once a week so you kind of get an idea instead of really tricking yourself and messing with your mind every day with the weight fluctuations. But because I went down a pound, um, that just shows me that my body is my metabolism's, metabolism is kicked up, um, starting to build and um, cr create new muscle, which is good, um, but I need to up the calories. So today I am going to uh, be up in the calories by about 200 calories, and the majority of that is going to come in the farm form of carbohydrates. Um, a little bit of fat increase, but the majority of it's going to come from carbohydrate increase. So I'll let you know how that goes, and hopefully next week we... Uh, we don't see another loss and we see a slight gain of, you know, uh, 0.5 to a, to a pound, if not a little bit more, so. Okay, so we're walking back from the park, back to my place. I live about, I don't know, half mile or so from the park, but I swear, Kobe is the star of the neighborhood. More people in this neighborhood know his name than they know mine. I don't know if I should be offended or if that's kind of cool. Well, either way. It's always nice to live in a neighborhood where it's so friendly. That's what I love about this place in Florida that I live in. It's just, it's very community friendly. It feels like a very Midwestern sort of town where I'm back from in Indiana. So anyways, I was just laughing because so many people run up and pet Kobe and, you know, say hi to him and everything. And then they then they look up and they're like, oh, hi. <laughs> so I don't think I'm really offended. I love my dog too. I probably would do that. You know the woman wants her cowboy like he wants his rodeo while it's balls and blood, it's a dust and mud, it's a roar of a sunny crown. It's wide and enough to go in the buckle here with the next go round. It's boots, champs, it's cowboy hats, and the spurs and let it go. It's the ropes and the reins and the joy and the pain and they call it the rodeo. I'm really glad nobody else rides in the Jeep with me on the way to the gym because they would probably be scared at my attempt at singing. All right guys, sorry for the sun, it's right in my eyes, but I'm just gotten here to the gym, just pulled up. Um, today is going to be a, uh, a chest push day. Um, I usually like to hit shoulders on the end of this day, but I don't like to do a lot of pressing movements with my shoulders since I'm doing so much pressing with my chest. So I focus more on lateral raises on these days and I say more pressing for my shoulder days, but um, just got a good message from a from a follower or a friend on Instagram and you know I don't like calling them followers you know if if someone likes something that I'm putting out they're a friend of mine so um, but it just got me really psyched up really pumped to lift not that I don't 
usually have that feeling when I come to the gym, but you know, today's just feeling a little tired, but definitely uh, more jacked up. So let's go get this workout in and hope you guys all enjoy it. Oh, if you're in the, you know, if you're in the St. Pete area, stop by Suncoast Fitness. Best gym there is in town. Hey guys, so as you saw from those warm-ups on the bench and that failed 225 attempt, um, I'm feeling a big strain right in here in my chest. Um, so since this is the second chest workout of the week, I'm gonna listen to my body. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop with any pushing movements. I'm gonna make this more of a uh, um, a delt and tricep day to kind of work on my weaknesses and everything. Um, just gotta listen to your body sometimes. I mean. This doesn't ever really happen to me. I warmed up fine. Um, don't really know what's going on, but I know that I don't want to be out of this lifting game for a while, so I'm going to listen to my body today, and I suggest you guys do the same. It's okay to sacrifice a day of day of uh, lifting in the gym if it means that you're going to be able to keep lifting for weeks and months and years to come, so this really pisses me off. Um, but there are other body parts that you can work, so um, I'm going to keep going, plugging away with that, and not with this uh, derail my workout. So I hope, hope you guys have a good day and do the same. Okay, so what you saw before was me hopping on the cable machine and just doing lateral raises um, and some front raises and stuff too, but then I bent over and I did um, rear delt flies, which really help um, accentuate my rear delts and everything. Um, it's a trouble area for me, I know it is for a lot of people, so um, if you don't do that exercise, I highly suggest that you can keep constant tension on it with the cables, and it really feels a good burn if you hold it and squeeze at the end. So um, This next exercise I'm gonna do is um, Another shoulder exercise, but I call them Y presses. As you'll see, when I come up with the dumbbell, I don't go straight up. I kind of flare out to the to the sides and make like a Y, um, like a Y um, motion or whatever you want to call it. So these really help. They kind of put a lot of separation in between my medial and my anterior delts. So um, go lightweight on this. Um, really concentrate on the squeeze and the form, and uh, 
Maybe this will add some something extra to your delt. One thing on those also is you don't want to lock out. Um, you want to keep a lot of tension, so go right before lock out and hold and squeeze. Um, keep that pressure on your delts. Just when you need some extra motivation, your favorite song comes on. Gets you re-energized, re-pumped. So what I really love about that tricep movement is the fact that um, I keep my keep my elbows pretty close to my head, and I go a little bit lighter on weight because this is not a it's not a power lifting move. This is not a strength strength move. Um, you want to make sure your forearms down so you don't tear up your elbows and your shoulder. So I go a little bit lighter weight, um, higher reps on this, but I try to keep my elbows really close and take a take a uh, very close grip on the bar and just extend out. And what this is doing is it's working the long head of your tricep, which is the biggest head of the three tricep heads. So um, this is what's really gonna give you the pop and the definition in your tricep. So if you're not incorporating this movement into your routine, I highly, highly suggest it. But don't try to be Superman, don't try to ego lift. Use a weight that you can use your triceps to move the weight. You don't wanna be using your shoulders and your arms to throw the weight forward. So um, I really love this. I've been incorporating it for a few months now. I can really see a huge difference, not only in definition, but in my strength. So. Give it a try. Okay guys, I'm gonna end the workout portion of this video now. Um, did a lot for shoulders and triceps today, which I was uh, unexpected obviously because of that minor pec strain. Um, just didn't wanna push it, but I ended up getting a good delt workout. Um, medial, um, interior and rear delts and uh, did some good tricep work. So I hope you got a little bit out of this video at least. Um, I know it wasn't what I initially started off wanting to do as far as training and stuff today, but um, that's it's a good lesson in your training. You can't always predict, no matter how well you warm up, no matter how conditioned you are, sometimes the body just breaks breaks down at a certain point. So um, you gotta work around, you gotta be flexible. This is a good practice in being flexible. I know it was for me. Um, so I think tomorrow I'm gonna make it a rest day. It was already supposed to be a scheduled rest day anyways, but um, with this pec tear, not tear, strain, I should say. Um, it gave me an extra day. I might try to get a massage tonight, but um, one thing about when you do reps and stuff, especially if you're bodybuilding, um, slow down your reps. You don't have to go all out. You know, Judging the effectiveness intensity of a workout is not how hard you're breathing and how much you're sweating. It's how hard the muscle is contracting and how, how much of your maximum force you're using. So um, slow down, plus when you slow down a little bit, you give your mind time to connect with your muscle and you can actually think to yourself, activate the muscle first to pull. And I guarantee it's gonna help improve your not only your form, prevent injury, but you're gonna see much more muscle growth a lot quicker doing it that way. Um, now, powerlifting and Olympic lifting is a different different beast, but I'm talking as far as uh, bodybuilding purposes, the whole purpose is not ego lifting, it's to build the muscle. So use whatever weight you have to in order to do that, and, um, and uh, just have fun with your training, but do it smart and efficiently. So stay tuned, I'll be back.